goodbye to Wayne. Oh, listen to those cheers. Oh, yeah, here he is, the man of the hour. Thank you, bud. How are you? Boy, I'm this freezing. is fun. I know it. It's cold out here. <laughs> Next time I retire, I'm going to retire in the middle of July when it's nice and warm. We've been here since 5 o'clock, and we've had hundreds of people come by, and it's like 40 degrees. People are honking their horns. I feel like it's a, uh, you know, a charity going on here, but it's just retirement day, and I'm happy about it. Everybody's trying to make me sad, and I'm not. I'm going to have a great time. You're not going to miss all of us? I'm going to miss you all, but then I can watch you on television, listen to Bill and Jane and all my friends on radio, and I can sit at home in my BVDs all day and just uh, eat my good tuna salad on my diet. <laughs> okay, I'll try not to imagine that. Now, oh, what thanks. is this? Are you signing these? Oh, yeah, I'm signing them. I'll sign one for you. Will you? Oh, yeah. Let's go see what some of these uh, folks have to say. These... Hi there, how are you? Hi. What's Hi. your name? Mary Raish. And you say you watched Wayne for a long time. Yeah, ever since he first came here with the Seattle Sounders. He always devoted equal time to the different sports. A lot of the others would, when they had an overlap, you know, especially baseball and soccer, they'd always go baseball and forget the Sounders, where Wayne tried to make it more equal. And I've always appreciated him for that. What's your name? Dave Malay. Yeah, what do you remember? Well, I remember I used to be with uh, Dwayne Smart at Cairo before he retired. And I go back to uh, Wayne the days of the Paramount Theater and the Retina Circus Light Show in uh, Jimi Hendrix at the Eagles Auditorium. It goes back a few years. And look who else dropped by. <laughs> Mayor Norm Rice. That's right. Hey, now what do you have here? I have an official city proclamation declaring Wayne Cody Day in the city of Seattle for today <laughs> because of all the good things that Wayne's done and uh, he's just been really great for us. So he's one of our treasures, he's one of our legacies, and we're proud of him. And it's really, look, <laughs> it really is a proclamation. No doubt about it. It's official. Oh, that is definitely And I official. signed it myself. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. I think it thank made him you. cry. I think so. But good job. All right. Let, oh, let's see what she, he's going on right now. Hold on. We do. You know, it was their opening night and emceed that big thing when Meredith Wilson was there. He's getting a pin for 20 years of working at the Kingdom. Bill Yen was there on the radio that night, the opening night of the Kingdom 20 years ago. That is just amazing. Wow, I've been working one year longer than the Kingdom, and I haven't lost a tile yet. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe some of my tiles are falling off. I don't know. And, and would you like to tell us how you've enjoyed the food over the, year at the oh, years at the Kingdom? Food is absolutely <laughs> tremendous, and I've enjoyed every bit of it. And those King Dogs are absolutely delicious. <laughs> Lots of mustard and pickle relish and all that stuff on there. The so. best ever. Can I, can I show you some old clips of yourself? Oh, no. I have a strange neighborhood. Folks, if you don't mind, before I go, do they give strange things out in my neighborhood? I'm very serious now. Look at the stuff I got in the bag. Look at this. Somebody ate this before they gave it to me. I can't believe that. That's really ridiculous. Oh, look at this. Somebody thought I wanted a copy of the Cairo Copter, right? Take a look at this thing. Watch. Look out. It's gone. Goodbye. <laughs> Ben, it's all yours, and cheers to you, too. Whoa, wait! <laughs> Here's what it looks like at 11 o'clock out at the airport. SeaTac, that I can tell you about because it's raining. <laughs> it's a Wayne Cody-sized storm. I knew it. <laughs> see, now this is, no, no, this is, that's, see, that's just, a, that's just a videotape picture that they put in here by electronic effects. I could go like this, you see, and it would just appear that I was hitting it. It wouldn't, it, I wouldn't really. Why, thank you. <laughs> a late-night snack. Wayne and I always have something after the news. Hey, that down. was. Oh, right when you're on, you guys are off, but we're on. <laughs> what do you think of your old? What you I dress? I love some of those. Harry Wapler, it's good to see him. Harry's only 19 years old now, you know. Yeah, I yeah, know, really I know. He ages well. And uh, see Richard in the background get scared. That was the Halloween thing. We took the stuff out of the bag. Have we shown me in the hot tub? I hope not. Uh, no, I couldn't find that one. Do you oh, have that? Good. No, uh, well, no, no, it's now, lost. Wayne, why did you dress up like that? What, what was it that prompted that? Let me see. It was uh, kind of having fun with sports. That's what we always wanted to do. I never take it very seriously. And it was just fun to do the different things and go different places. And people would remember, they wouldn't remember the scores or what team one or where we were they remember the goofy stuff we did and that was always fun i, I can't it. imagine that you know i yeah. take it all so seriously yeah you're a goofy person yourself so <laughs> you'd understand if anybody would absolutely crazy we've watched all kinds of things happen wayne's signing things right now let's see if we can get in there excuse me he's gotten all kinds of gifts what are you doing wayne i'm okay buddy i'm having a great time gee we've had the, the president i think wink wink but the governor called up, and the mayor called up, and the police came by in formation on their motorcycles. And Paul Brendel, they had a flyover with airplanes with a missing airplane like it was me. I think I've died. 
I really do. I, this is too much for just retiring. You're here. I know. Well, I am here. It's you know, okay. I thought I saw someone from another television station here, too. It was that guy on four, that Bruce King. He came by to say hello. I'm expecting Rabel, but he probably slept in. You think so? Yeah, he probably did. You know, it is kind of nice to see all the other radio and TV people come by, too. Yeah, it is, though. It really is. I've been friends with all of them all over town. All the sports guys, you know, we get together and talk. We see each other at games and all travel together. So it's a real good kind of club that doesn't have any president or any formation, but it's been a lot of fun. It really has. Well, we got to look at another clip of uh -oh. Wayne Cody's pass. And let me just tell you, this one has something to do with... Your mustache and your beard. You mean the night I got shaved on TV? That's it. Watch the barber's hands. Roll the tape. Jack Burales here from the Weston Hotels. Are you ready? You bet. All right, well, let's go. You have to clip first, huh? Oh, dear. Right. Well, while Jack does that, I'll just get started with sports while I'm getting ready. Ron Callen was up early this morning, but so were a bunch of other folks. You can find them on Lake Washington for the opening of the sockeye salmon season. We'll have the latest on the British Open Golf Tournament. Bobby Clampett is doing so well over there. Plus, Gary Spidell brings us up to date on the former Seattleite who has turned a rowdy. I'll have all the sports for you when I return, hopefully. Let me look at my watch. It'll be, oh, I don't have my watch on today. What time is it, folks? Hold it, Jack. I'll be back in 19 minutes and six seconds, all lathered up and ready to get shaved clean. What else? Uh, Memorial Day week and a lot of automobile racing. We even went down to Spanaway Speedway this afternoon to take a look. One thing certainly is for sure, when you take a look at the sockeye salmon season, you don't have to wear a beard to snag a sockeye in Lake Washington. Now it's your turn to introduce him I tonight. I do not want anything to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> My hair is Wayne Cody. <laughs> Nicely thank done. You. Thank you, Gary, and thank you, John. Tacoma comes back home. They've been playing pretty well. Matter of fact, in the Missouri Coast League, they won the first half. They're still not on top in the second half, but they play back at Cheney Stadium later tonight. All right, we need another community citizen to find out what the Hawks are going to do. Hawks are Patriots Sunday. What do you think? Hawks are going to be hot Sunday. Hawks by 10. We finished? Right. There it is. <laughs> what do you hey. think? <laughs> oh, I don't think I like it. Oh, where's my beard? Oh, here's Dave Ross, too. Let's see what he has to say. I want to say I learned everything that I did from you and the example that you set. And, you know, many times you'd come in and you'd, 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 we'd be sitting there off the air and you'd, and you'd launch into guys and dolls. Can we do that now? When you see a gent paying all kinds of rent. For a flat that would flatten the Taj Mahal, da 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 dum. Call it, call it funny, but it's better than even money. That this guy's only doing it for some doll, some doll, some doll. The guy's only doing it for some doll. What a show! Good job. And you can see that all this has been going on for the last several hours. Susan Hutchins, you, Susan, that would be you. You, you. You've been with Wayne for, you worked with him a long time. 11 years. Oh, my goodness. Now, come on, tell us the most wackiest thing. Oh, you know, it's hard to say the most because there were so many wacky ones. It was the costumes and the songs and the marching bands, and we never knew. We'd be doing the news, and all of a sudden, the newsroom would fill up with a whole marching band. Oh, Wayne's at it again. So that's what it has been like to work with Wayne. And, you know, I think everybody in the in the city and the whole region is sad that Wayne is leaving because it marks the end of an era. And when you look back at that old video and you just realize what television used to be over the years, and, you know, you just kind of tugs at your heartstrings a little bit that um, those days are gone. And everybody's going to miss Wayne Cody. Wayne Cody is basically signing off the air right now. This is it. This is this is it for Wayne. Let's listen it. Oh, hi there, slow mo. This is probably your last live television. Yeah, just about. Yeah, we're what, on, what joining on say? Channel Seven. How yeah. appropriate. It's been a great run. I've had a wonderful time, and I'm only retiring. I watched. I said last night at seven o'clock. I thought I died when I saw that, but no, I'm still alive. Going to wander around, play some golf, and of course go to the new racetrack when it opens. And uh, it's been a ball. Thanks to everybody at Cairo. It's been a great run. It's a great company to work for. And goodbye, Seattle. Oh, Wayne. Well, we're going to do a lot of analysis.